Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Denali <laughs> and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark and lots of other platforms. But yeah, today I'm here with a haul video. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you wanna be, hit the button down below. And if you enjoy this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. Okay, but I've got a haul video for you today from the Goodwill outlet. I'm not sure, when did I go? I think it was a couple days ago. <laughs> Uh, it was pretty decent. I got a fair amount of clothing and I want to say it's like 30 pounds off the top of my head. If I can find my receipt later, I will put the most certain number <laughs> of how many pounds it is. But otherwise, it's this big pile here, which you can kind of only see the top of, but there's more to it. Okay, should we just get into the haul? Um, if you're not familiar with the Goodwill outlet, it is a pay by the pound Goodwill. It's kind of like the last stop before things maybe go to rag shop, like rag shop. Yeah, rag warehouses overseas. Sometimes it goes to auction by the pallet. Lots of different things can happen to the clothing, but um, harder to get your hands on as a reseller to get back out into um, the hands of consumers. So anyways, the first two items, I, these are actually for me, but I'll show them to you anyway. Um, it's this Lucky Brand taunt that I was like, oh, this is cute. I'm gonna keep it for myself, so. I feel like you always have to pick up like one or two things when you're thrifting to keep for yourself. And then this one is fun. I like this brand. It's an anthropology brand. It's a Kemi and Kim, Kim, Kin, Kin. I think it's K-I-N. That's what the label looks like. And how cute is this sleeveless embroidered top? Uh, one of my last trips, I don't think I filmed the haul for to the outlet. I got a dress from that brand that was super cute, but it was like a size medium, so it wouldn't have fit me. So this felt serendipitous that I found a piece of theirs in my size. So, um, speaking of things that I'm keeping, I swear I'm not keeping everything, but I found there's another one in here somewhere. Um, some Adidas pants for my son. For those of you who have children, oh my gosh, that's you know that saying that people say about like they grow like weeds or whatever they do and he is quickly growing and he's very tall so he needs more new pants it feels like every week all right next item is a pair of free people corduroy pants these are a size 28 i think this is an older style um i should have prefaced at the beginning of the video and told you that i mentioned that i sell on ebay and poshmark but I do a lot of stuff, different stuff with my inventory. Some of it I send to the Real Real, which is like a higher end consignment online store. I send st stuff to ThreadUp, um, which is like a large online thrift store. And I also use this web uh, website app, app called Flip, F-L-Y-P. Um, I know I get a lot of questions about the one. There's information in the links below on what it is, but anyways, you can have people resell your items and like pay you out consignment style, or you can also apply to sell other people's stuff and then you pay other people out, but it's like free inventory. So anyways, I think long story short, I'll probably send these to flip for like, it'll be in a lot that I'm creating for flip and you can send up to 30 items in a lot. So that's what that will be for. Um, this is a land's end dress my size it's an XL it's actually really cute uh, I have like a faint thought of wearing it but then also when I'm done with it I did pick it up to send to thread up so I will send that to thread up because I think it, that would be a good thread up piece sorry my eye just like got really cloudy all of a sudden <laughs> these are bras I think there's another one in here as well the brand is Cacique you can see it there. And I think these are sold at Lane Bryant, but I'm not sure where else they're sold. Um, I did wash them, but they're still pilling on here. So I need to depill these. And then I actually have a friend who I think these might fit her. So I'm going to let her try it on and she can just have them if they fit her. And if they don't, I will definitely sell them because I can usually get about like $20 a piece for those, uh, just depending on style and everything. Okay, this, another place that I take stuff to, is Plato's Closet. Uh, I picked up this, it's an American Eagle men's just like workout shirt. I don't know, I think it's like a one of those workout shirts. So anyways, I, I'm gonna take this to Plato's Closet. And you know, if I leave with like two to $3 per item that I sell to them, 
I'm happy because my stuff from the outlet usually costs like about a dollar. So yeah, I'm just blindly grabbing stuff back here. <laughs> this is a Lululemon jacket. Um, probably an older style, I'm guessing. It's in good condition, not too much like color fading on the black. I don't know, is this men's or women's, guys? It says medium for the size dot, and it does have the Lululemon logo there. I kind of think it's a men's. It's cool. Is there, and then it's got the embroidery. It's like a hexagon almost. I've not seen this before, so I will sell this piece myself. I need to make piles for all this stuff. <laughs> okay, this is an Athleta brand Scort. It's a Scort, you can't see it, but it's a Scort. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy to it. Cute piece, I might put this in a flip lot. I've actually been putting a lot of active wear brands into them because I have found those sell well, just in general. I like selling active wear, so. Uh, this is a torrid dress that I'm kind of tempted to keep, but I would have nowhere to wear it to. Um, it's a size two, which is their vanity sizing. So I think that equals like maybe a two X, like a four, 16, 18 or 14, 16, something like that. It's got the cold shoulder. It's like a ribbed knit dress. Um, it needs to be sweater shaved, but I also think that I'm going to put this in a flip lot. That's my plan right now. This is a Levi's vest. And I don't know that like I would always pick up a Levi's vest, but I don't even know if I should say that because I don't know if that's true. But I thought this one was so cute. It's quilted. The color is kind of looking wonky because of my overhead lighting. <laughs> but anyway, it's like a dark blue and it's got stars on them. Is it a women's or a men's? It says small, but this kind of looks like a women's medium. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. There is like some stuff here and some stuff there. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Either I'm going to sell this or it's going to go into a flip lot. Otherwise it's in great condition and that might be able to come off. I just honestly didn't try that hard to stain treat it. Here is <laughs> dog Winnie who's looking guilty in the background. Winnie, say hi. <laughs> Um, she's actually about to go to the kennel. That sounds bad. Boarding, dog boarding, um, for the next couple of days. Yeah. How do you feel about that? You don't understand yet. She'll be fine. Don't worry. It's a very nice facility. Okay. Next piece, hopefully she doesn't hit the camera, is a, another Lululemon piece. This is a tank, woman's tank. And this one does have the size down here so this is inside out because on the inside bottom here hem of the tank top they will put sizing in there so this one says uh size six right there so anyways uh what will i do with this one i think i'll probably sell it myself just because lululemon sells fairly quickly for me so we can churn and burn it these are a pair of mother jeans this is like the second time i've gotten mother jeans when I've gone to the outlet recently. Uh, they're in really good condition. I don't know, like I don't have anything wrong to say about them. Um, this is what the tag can sometimes look like. I've seen tags that look a little bit different than that. Sometimes, not always, but they will have this M stitching on the butt. I have seen some without that. Uh, this is the looker style and it's a 27. What will I do with it? I might sell it because again, Denim sells kind of quickly for me. And that's a decent brand. But the fact that I found it more recently, maybe it's just not as good as it used to be. I'm not sure. Uh, I picked up this Rachel, Rachel Roy, kind of like tunic sweater. Sorry, my laundry's going behind me. So if you hear the house shaking, Rachel, Rachel Roy tunic sweater thingy. It's like a three quarter sleeve. It does have a zip along the side. This is a size large. I think I'm gonna put this in a flip lot if it's an accepted brand. I feel like it will be, but I'm not sure. Um, here's another Torrid piece. This is a size five and it's just this button down blouse. I was like, this might fit me. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Should I try? I feel like I should try it on. Not right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna try it on right now, guys, but I kind of like it. It's a five, like, okay, whatever. 
Um, but otherwise, if I don't keep it, I will put it probably in a flip lot. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I love selling Torrid. Uh, plus size, it's hard to find really great condition plus size pre-owned items. Um, so I see that, or I tend to see that it can sell quickly. Okay, next piece is the brand Hannah Anderson. Uh, traditionally, they make children's stuff, but they do make women's clothing as well. Like they'll make uh, boys and girls clothing, but they will do women's as well. This is a size large and it's a sleep sack. When I had my son, sleep sacks were really popular. I'm guessing they still are, but I'm not sure. This is a nice quilted one. So we will sell this in the store, my stores ourselves. Okay, this is a fun new to me brand. Uh, let me know if you've heard of it. It's called Dwell and Slumber. The comps actually look pretty good for it. And what made me grab it is the quality looked nice. And then the tag also says ethically made in the USA. Stuff that's made in the USA sometimes can have be an indicator of a higher resale value. Regardless, it is like a nightgown. It's a one size. I don't know if it would fit me. It's got pockets. I will sell this in my store. The comps look great. I don't remember off the top of my head what they were. Good enough for me to pick up. Here's the other pair of pants for my son. You don't need to see those. <laughs> this is a Chico's dress. This is a size two, Chico's two, which I believe is, that's their vanity sizing. It's either a large or an extra large. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that one. This one's nice. It's like really flowy and stretchy. It's rayon and spandex. This would actually be really good for like traveling. Yeah, so I will probably send this to thread up. I think that's what I'll do with that. Okay, next piece is, has come unconnected here. Well, where's the other strap? Like, did it get eaten in my washer? No, here it is. Okay, well, I need to put the straps back on here. They hook back on here, but I'm not gonna waste our time with that. It's like a little tank thingy, baby doll type style. It's intimately free people. Sorry, I did not say that. It's a size large. The free people intimately tags, I think have since changed. I don't know that they look like this anymore. That might be an older style. However, I will put this into a flip lot. So there's that. Here's the other Cacique bra that I told you about. All three of them are wireless. I asked my friend uh, who is possibly going to take them. I said, you know, they're wireless, which I don't know. I always wear like a wire bra. But she said that their wireless bras are actually really good and have a good amount of support. So take that for what you will. Okay, next is the brand Cool. I've talked about this in prior videos, which I've learned from the wonderful reselling community that uh, sometimes when it's a women's cool piece, it will have a heart for the logo here, but it doesn't always for women. So if, that's, if it's a heart, it can be an indicator that it's a women's piece. Otherwise, yeah, you just have to check. But these are size two, capri style, cool, short pants, shants. <laughs> so we will sell these in the store. Probably should get them listed quickly because, oh my gosh, we're in the middle of August, which is really crazy to say. Summer is almost over. Ugh, that That's not fun to say. All right, next is the brand Young, Fabulous, and Broke. These are a size large. They're not the biggest large, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, Tie-dye, just like sweatpants. Otherwise, they're in good condition. They just are a smaller looking large. I'm gonna put that in the flip lot, I think. Let me know your thoughts. If there's a, if there's something that I'm putting in the pile that you're like, why don't you, what about this? Da, da, da. Let me know in the comments, I'm curious. This is another athleta, athleta, athleta skirt, size large, skirt. Uh, I will put this also in the flip lot. My dog is snoring in the background now. Wow, she literally laid down. It was just like, out. <laughs> this is a Santa Cruz t-shirt, Santa Cruz t-shirt. Uh, I think it's like a skateboarding. I mean, I know it's a place, but I think it's like skateboarders wear this sort of stuff. Yeah, it says skateboard. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is a medium. I believe it's a women's. And I picked this up to take to Play-Dohs. So I will put that in my Play-Dohs pile. This is why I love not wearing gloves at the bins because you can feel things by touch. And just by touch, I knew that this was going to be a barefoot dreams robe. 
I've been finding a lot of good robes recently. This one's a size two, which again is like a vanity sizing. I'm not sure what that equals. It could be like a medium or a large and the belt was there. So you don't always get the belt. Regardless, if I was you and I saw a Barefoot Dreams robe in the wild at the outlet with no belt, I would still pick it up anyway because I do believe there's still a resale, good resale value for them. So I am going to sell this myself. I will put that in the sell myself pile. Next item, I think this is Zara. Yeah, it's a Zara top size large. Just a cute little basic piece. Um, it's got like a tie waist here. This I'm going to put in the flip lot. They do take that brand. They don't take Topshop, which I always kind of get mixed up. All right, the next piece is a men's Patagonia large pullover with a half zip. Nothing special, just kind of a good basic piece, but we are heading into the fall, more out door cold weather activities happening so I will sell this myself this is oh the brand Armani exchange these are a size 30 I don't know are these men's or women's the pockets are pretty deep which is usually an indicator of it being a men's item should I try taking these to Plato's you know Armani exchange doesn't always have the highest resale value I found. Let me know if you find it that to be not the case. So let's see, maybe I'll, t I'll take those to Play-Dohs. Let's see what they do with them. Um, oh, next is a Nike dry fit top. Um, just like a basic top. I will also take this one to Play-Dohs, I think. I should check real quick because you know Play-Dohs is always checking for like date tags and stuff on here. Mm. I wonder if FA18 means like fall of 2018. So they might not take it uh, because I believe if it's like more than a year old or something like that, then they don't take stuff. Uh, so sometimes I've heard people say, cut the tags out. So there's a tip for you. All right, next is this cute Kate Spade nightgown. It says, sleep tight. Um, it's a women's, I believe, women's medium. And I'm gonna sell this myself. It's so cute. Hopefully I'll sell quickly. Usually most of the Kate Spade I have sells pretty quick, so. Okay, next piece is a pair of Zella leggings. These are a size large, they're some really nice condition. I love selling Zella leggings. I feel like they can sell really quickly for about 20 bucks. I will put these in a flip lot. That's what I think I wanna do with them, guys. <laughs> and another pair of workout pants. These are a pair of Patagonia workout pants, leggings, whatever, size medium. Uh, I'll probably sell these ones myself. Not that I think that these will maybe sell for that much more, but yeah, I'm, you know, one for you, one for me. There we go. Okay, next is a cutoff sweatshirt. I don't know that it originally sold like this at all, but I do believe it's like maybe a decent piece. So it says ACG, which, you know, doesn't necessarily mean something unless to you, unless you know what it is. Uh, so it's like a Nike, it's like a line of Nike stuff. So anyways, I'm going to sell this myself and it's men's probably, and I don't know how much I'm gonna get for it. The ACG piece that I sold in the past did have pretty good comps, some stuff I've seen for over a hundred. I'm not sure that that's a hundred dollar piece, but we'll see what I can get out of it. This is the brand Roots. If you're not familiar with it, it's a Canadian brand. Um, they are decently priced, um, not cheap necessarily. So this is a Roots kids piece, um, seven, eight years old, size medium. I just thought it was a super cute little hoodie. I wish it was my son's size. And it says Canada, of course, there. Okay, next is, what are these? I think they're, Brooks maybe? No, Under Armour. These are a pair of Under Armour, size large, running shorts. I believe these are women's and they have like the little built-in underwear. What do we think? Play-Dohs? No. So the stuff that Play-Dohs doesn't take that I can put in flip lots, that's what I end up doing. If you're curious, like, well, if Play-Dohs doesn't take all your stuff, what do you do with it? I either put it into a flip lot that are of the brands that they accept, or I will send it to thread up or maybe I'll just decide that I'm gonna sell it for myself. So I will take items back into Play-Dohs a few different times uh, because if it doesn't get picked by the first person, maybe the next person that's working another day. 
uh, will take it. So it, that's a tip I learned from a friend of mine. So that might be useful to you if you are taking things in there as well. Okay, next is a Fila tank top. It's a size large and I'm probably gonna take this one to Play-Doh's. So I am strategically looking for good pieces of denim as well as active wear to take to them because I'm finding that's what they usually accept from me. This is a Brooks Skort, I think. Yeah, it's a Brooks Skort and it's a size medium. And I'm gonna put that in the flip lot, maybe? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's gonna go in a flip lot. Oh, this is actually from a couple videos ago, but I finally cleaned it. There was like some uh, armpit markings on this top. They're kind of, they're not too bad, but I see a little bit still, but I'm going to put this in a flip lot and I'm just going to note the flaws. So you can note the flaws in your lots that you create. Uh, it just helps the person who's going to consign your lot accurately price it if you let them know what flaws are there. Okay, the next one's fun. This is the brand Lip Service. So I actually found this piece near a couple of, what's it called, bustier things? What is it? Um, what's the lace up thing? Corset, corset things. <laughs> so I checked the comps of the corsets and I didn't love the comps. I just wasn't sure that it was, I, how quick it would sell. So anyways, I did pick up this piece though because I thought this one was really cute and with Halloween and everything coming up, I thought, I don't know, maybe it would be a good piece. I have no idea what size it is. Oh, small? This looks really small. What is this, like a kid's? I don't know who's gonna wear that, but I'm going to list this myself. You know, now is not the worst time to, especially if you're an outlet shopper, if you see costumes that are in good condition, for a low price, obviously, um, to consider picking those up because Halloween is upon us. Not sure what Halloween will look like this year, but Halloween is upon us. Okay, so next I have this little Calvin Klein little baby set, or it's not even a set. It's for six to nine months. I picked it up because it's new with tags. So I, there's like a little clearance sticker here. I'm gonna take the clearance sticker off and I'm gonna send it to thread up. So there we go. This was another new with tags item. I was shocked. It's intimately, no, it's just free people, I think. Is it intimately? I thought it was intimately. Whatever, yeah, it is. That's because that's what the tag looks like. It's a sleeveless turtleneck. I don't know. I'll sells myself yeah 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 we'll do that <laughs> it's the inner dialogue I have <laughs> okay next is I've never picked up this brand before it's called Peruvian link I've picked up what's the other one Peruvian connection I picked up that one before too so when I saw this I was like okay is this as good as the other one I checked comps and it looked interesting enough that I thought I would give it a try. It is like a one size fits all piece. It is alpaca and it's just this open front cardigan. It's really soft and nice. So I will sell this myself. We'll put that in the sell myself pile. Uh, this is a really pretty White House black market dress that I don't always pick up this brand. However, when I do, it's usually to send it to thread up because it can sell well there. I just thought it was a really cute piece, polka dots. So that's gonna go in my thread up pile. What else do I have here? I'm like, is this all the same? <laughs> okay, yeah, this is a DK, DKNY dress. I, again, I don't usually pick this up necessarily, but I thought it was in good condition, but now I'm seeing there's a tear here. I actually, a friend of mine works in the warehouse uh, a couple days a week and does seamstress work. So maybe I can actually have her fix this and then I'll send it off to thread up because that was my plan for it. That's a bummer. Okay, next piece is this Banana Republic dress and obviously I got it because it's new with tags. I'll take the little clearance tag off even though the clearance tag says $94. I'm curious what it says underneath it. Probably like over a hundred, clearly. Yeah, just this cute little I don't know. It would be like an, I was going to say like an office dress, but I don't know if people are going to the office anymore. Like, is that a thing? Okay. This is random. This is a, I don't know if it's vintage or not. It's Laura Ashley silk scarf, but it's in like really great condition. And I just thought it was so beautiful. I didn't even look up comps for it. I'll find out. But anyways, yeah, that's in the Denali will sell pile. 
Okay, next is a cardigan. I think this is an anthro one. This is the brand Sleeping on Snow and it's a size large and I think it's wool. Yeah, it's wool. It's really cute. Um, I'll sell this myself. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do with that. This is inside out, but you get the picture. <laughs> this is a Madewell, as you can see. Madewell sweater. Um, it needs a little cleaning. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know that this one got cleaned. So I'm gonna clean this one and then I will put this into a flip lot, the flip lot that I've created, created here. This is a halogen dress, which is one of Nordstrom's house brands. Um, I maybe like initially wouldn't pick up halogen. However, look at the bottom of the dress, it's so fun. Isn't this cute? I love this. So anyways, I think I'm gonna put that in a flip lot because it, it's really pretty and it's in great condition. So flip lot you go. Next I have the brand Hue. There's actually a pair, a few pairs of these in there and maybe I should have grabbed them all because I could have lotted them up. But anyway, they're just like stretch. They look like shorts, like denim shorts, but they're just like stretchy. I don't know. I'll sell them myself, maybe. Okay, this is, oh, you better be in okay condition. Now that I'm looking at you closely. This is, I think a Chico's, no, it's White House Black Market. I think my plan for this is thread up, but it's like, you know, one of those shrug thingies like this. <laughs> so anyways, I think it's in good condition. I don't know. Now I'm looking at it a little closer. I'm like, I don't know if you are. We'll try and send that to thread up. What else do I have here? What are you? Oh, this is a Marmot jacket. It needs to be washed. Yeah, I was saving this for last because it's red and I didn't want it to like bleed on anything. Um, I like Marmont. They make good stuff. I almost am curious if it's on the Real Reels accepted list because North Face is. So it'd be good to know if this one is, especially since they're accepting more sporting good type brands. Yeah, I need to double check that. Uh, these are a pair of Anthro pants. The brand is Cartonier, however you pronounce that. These are size six. What do I want to do with them? flip lot. I'm thinking I'm going to put them in the flip lot. And how cute is this scarf? This is like, I don't think anything special, but I just thought it was really cool. Um, I haven't looked up the RN number or anything on it, though it does have details here. Certified with pride in America. Is this worth anything guys? 50% cotton, 50% poly have a hank made in USA RN number 15187. We'll find out. I just I just thought it really looked really cool and I wanted to save it from the bin. So that's my haul, guys. <laughs> it's been a little while. It's good to see you again. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.